Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday afternoon and just wanted to give you another update on the work here at the Burlington Emergency Operations Center. Uh, things slowed down a little bit today. We, uh, this is our first day in this new posture of as many city employees as possible working from home. Seems like that went pretty smoothly. We haven't had a lot of reports of problems. Um, uh, we're also starting to work out the logistics of how in this new posture where we're trying to keep people uh, from coming into the public buildings as little as possible, how we're going to have a city council meeting next Monday. We haven't worked out all the details on that yet, but we think through technology we're going to be able to find a way where both the councilors and uh, participants uh, who want to participate in the public forum uh, can, can call in online um, and we, there will be an in-person option as well. We think we're still working out the details. Stay tuned for that if that's something you're interested in. Um, because we um, have kind of gotten through that uh, big push to, to get into this new uh, phase, we have started turning, really felt like today we started to turn our attention to the next phase of work. Um, here's a few examples of that. So um, this was the first day, the schools of course were also closed today and there were meals distributed um, in many locations around the city, both by the schools team and then our own Parks uh, Recreational Waterfront team had six locations uh, set up in different housing sites and from everything we've heard, a lot of meals got delivered and that system seems to be in, you know, remarkably quickly up and really working. Um, we, uh, we were starting to run out of hand sanitizer for cleaning of various uh, city uh, you know, buildings and, and uh, equipment that need to be used and uh, we found a good solution to that. There's a local distillery that has repurposed some of its alcohol into uh, hand sanitizer and so we've been able to restock that. There are other resupply issues that we're working through. Um, good news today from the federal government is a big push is going into um, creating a lot of new masks quickly which um, that, if that gets going well that will head off any future problems about that kind of equipment. Um, uh, the child care plan um, that was announced by the governor this morning, a bunch of people working on that. That could be an important part of the whole uh, emergency response is making sure that uh, people who are needed for the health, public health response are able to have care of their children. That, that is a longer term project and there's work happening on that still. We had a call today with a lot of Burlington businesses at one o'clock, um, many of whom are facing this sudden really major economic uh, change that is a, a problem for the business and is of course a problem for uh, many of their um, employees who they are, are no longer to, uh, able to pay. There have been layoffs, there could be more layoffs in the days ahead. The city is putting a major effort um, led by Luke McGowan at the Community Economic Development Office to figure out all of the assistance um, that uh, is going to be marshaled to try to help um, the impacted businesses through and, and their and their employees, their workers, um, through this through this, and there will be uh, much more on this in the days to come. We did see uh, that the the U.S. Senate passed a big package today, so things are getting uh, help is coming and it's getting a lot clearer, and we'll be pushing out information on that as soon as we can. Um, Last thing I wanted to uh, just, I just wanted to close again with a note about social distancing. Um, it is such a key part of this effort and how we're gonna keep this uh, virus from spreading out of control. Um, I, the Surgeon General said something today that was interesting. He said that um, Americans should act like you had the virus for the next two weeks. You should, and I thought that was sort of an interesting way to think about it, that you should actually kind of internalize that and think about if you were carrying the virus, which you may be, because we have not tested, there are many people we believe have the virus that haven't been t tested for it and people don't know. Um, if you have that in your mind as you're going about your day and thinking about you yourself not spreading it, um, if all of us do that, that will have a positive impact in slowing this thing down. If you can really make a push for that for the next two weeks, um, that really could have a, an impact on the trajectory of this thing and in, impact on how long we need to be in this really uh, unaccustomed posture of uh, trying to stay six feet, feet apart and slowing down so much of, of the way our society works. That's what I got for you today. Hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy out there. We'll check in again with you soon. Thanks.